Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today I've got a quick tip for you. This is my early 2011 MacBook Pro, a seven year old laptop which I still use for DJing. And that's not going to change until one of two things happens. Either Apple bring out a new MacBook Pro which I want to buy, or I find a Windows alternative out there. And I will be looking at some here on the channel quite soon. But as it stands, it's got to keep going because I'm not going to drop two grand on a refurbished 2015 MacBook Pro, which is currently like the peak model for DJing. That's the pinnacle. I'm just not going to spend that kind of money on a three-year-old laptop. So I have to keep it going. And it is working very well as a rule, right? I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. I have two SSDs. And it has always performed very nicely with Recordbox DJ, Serato DJ Pro, Traktor, everything I've thrown at it, it's just done really well. No issues until recently. When I've started to notice performance has been, you know, just downgraded a bit. It's not been working as well as it used to. I've been getting stuttering and kind of glitching and the temperature has been running really high. And I know this because I have an app called SMC Fan Control. It's a free download for OS X. It sits in your menu bar and it, the idea of the app is that you can actually turn up the rotation on your fans and kind of cool down your computer ahead of time if you're in a hot environment or something like that. You can actually pump up those fans and cool it down. But I just have it sitting there all the time and it lets me know the temperature of my machine. And this thing has been running hot, like 80, 90 degrees C, just under fairly minimal loads. And that is not normal at all. That is way over the top. So I started to wonder what that problem might be. And of course, a lot of modern systems, modern chips, they will throttle back their performance as the temperature goes up. So if this thing is running really hot, OS 10 is not gonna be pushing the actual chip as hard and the performance does degrade. So yeah, I was like, need to do something about this. And what I realized is that I hadn't actually cleaned out the fans in this thing for two, maybe three years. Like it's been a long time. And that's something that really I'm gonna recommend all of you do, especially with a Mac, it's really simple. You go onto iFixit and you just look at the repair guides for your specific model of MacBook or MacBook Pro and you take the bottom off, use the fan guide to replace the fan, basically get to the point where you're gonna remove the fan and replace it, but don't actually remove it, just kind of pull it out, get your compressed air, you know, your spray duster, get some screen wipes or something like that, something that's not gonna damage the internals, a nice microfiber cloth, a soft bristle paintbrush, just get in there and get all the crud out of the fan itself, out of the vents, that's the bit that was really clogged up on my machine was the vents, because when you're DJing in you know, smoky, dusty environments, moisture rich environments, you're gonna end up getting a lot of crud in those vents and in the fan, and it will impact the performance. It definitely did in my case, it was really causing problems. Now I've cleaned it out and it's so much better. My performance in terms of temperature and everything else is back to normal. Normal operating temperatures are good to go, and this thing is just back to where it was, and hopefully it will keep going until Apple bring me that nice MacBook Pro that I actually really do wanna buy. So there you go. If you have a Windows machine, now I don't know about alternatives to SMC fan control. There may be little apps out there that are like it, or it may be you can just do it at the OS level. So do let us know if you're a Windows expert, let us know down in the comments below what you can use on a Windows machine. And it might be a bit trickier to find like a repair guide or something like that for your specific laptop. But generally the principle is always the same. Get the bottom off, access the fans, access the ventilation system, get in there, give it a spray, give it a wipe, and that will make sure that your performance on your computer is not degraded and you're not gonna run into trouble like I did. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.